Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you my process on how I make crochet patterns. This is not even close to the best way on how to do it, it's just how I prefer to do it. I always start out with sketching out a design of the pattern I want to do. This gives me a general idea on where my pattern's going to go. Making crochet patterns is a whole lot of trial and error. What you see on screen right now is my first attempt of my gold coin coaster. For this attempt, I thought it would be amazing looking if it was only just one color. I started by making a magic ring and increased on every single stitch. Then I began to space out my increases a bit until it became the size I wanted it to be. For me, this took about six rows. My goal at this point was to make a general shape of a coin. Then, when that was done, I would see if there were any improvements I could make. From looking at the thumbnail, you can tell there was a lot I needed to change. I've currently made three patterns other than this one. You can find it on my Ribbler store. This does not mean I'm a professional. I am a huge beginner when it comes to creating patterns. Recently, I've been working extremely hard to up the quality of my YouTube videos and make so many new patterns for everyone to enjoy. It truly makes me so happy to see the view count on my videos go up. Thank you all so much for supporting me by watching this video. Please comment down below anything you would like to see. I love the thrill of making new patterns that no one has ever seen before. Enjoy watching the rest of my first version of the Gold Coin Coaster. After my first attempt, I realized that I needed a bit more contrast to make the gold coin coaster pop out more. The yellow string was bugging me here because it, the rest of my string was completely tangled, so I moved to a red string just to play around with the colors. This time, I made the coin a lot smaller and used the colors that I rarely use together to make a lot of contrast. The reason I made this coin a lot smaller was to see if I liked the design choice of the colors instead of just the size. And yes, I know, these colors do not work together at all. It was just the first colors I grabbed, so I went with it. For my final attempt, I used what I liked most about my past two attempts. I used high contrasting colors, such as yellow and black, so it would pop out more to the human eye. 
When making patterns, I would recommend after every single row, you would write down what you did for that specific row so you don't forget. For this, I would recommend the website Ribbler. There you can find free crochet patterns, you can buy crochet patterns, you can sell it, you can just give them away for free. They have a really great pattern building part on it. All you have to do is make a store and click into create a new pattern and you got the first parts done. I use Ribbler all the time. Ribbler is what got me into pattern making in the first place. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.